Welcoming participants, the board chairman, independent television and radio, Lady Celerina Ojomo, said the aim of the lecture is to collect ideas and profile ideas that will help governments develop the country. Some of us feel marginalized, others think that they are being maligned, while others are continually insisting on going their separate ways. It is for this reason that independent television and radio has organized this event. Delivering a lecture, restructuring the fears, challenges, and prospects, the guest lecturer, head of the Department of History, International Studies, and Diplomacy, University of Benin, Professor Eddie Ragbe said, it is not the first time that the issue of restructuring has been discussed, as according to him, people seeking restructuring have occupied various public positions in Nigeria and are not seeking political relevance. He said the most important thing that Nigeria requires now is good governance that we address the myriads of problems confronting the nation and its people. Another guest lecturer who is the head pastor of FEM Foundation, Pastor Bessie Nahigbe II, said the unity of Nigeria is not negotiable, stressing the need for Nigerians to reorientate themselves and allow for a new Nigeria. What is the place of previous national conferences, such as the 2014 National Conference, in addressing the issues of restructuring and devolution of powers? It is not just a bad political restructuring. That is what the pastor was saying. This issue is going on even educational restructuring, economic restructuring, broadcasting restructuring, that is media restructuring. We must recognize God in his office. He took a Joseph to be brand and Egypt, which was the world power of the day. In fact, civilization started from there. And then in Alexandria, the first university was there. It shows that they were highly intellectual, but the king had a dream and Joseph had the interpretation. Today, we must understand that leaders are dreaming, but they are no interpreters. In the dialogue segment that featured eight panelists, the issue of whether or not Nigeria should be restructured was deliberated on, while other participants also bear their minds. Self restructuring will solve all our problems. And I'm so happy that the majority of us in this country are adherents of either the Christian or the Islamic faith. And one of our major problems, as was rightly highlighted by the speaker, Professor Edi Elaibi, is of course ethnicity. Even life is dynamic, the world is a changing world. And I believe that. We must change among certain patterns. But we should not shift away from the things that bind us together. It's not merely restructuring, but it let us restructure our minds. I have not found somebody to actually define the word to be restructuring. Because you cannot build something on nothing. What is the definition of restructuring? First of all, we need to look at it. What do we want to restructure? Focus on why people still need to travel from Nigeria to other countries just to remove a kidney stone. If the structure is faulty, like we have it today, a structure that allowed a state to produce 47 uh, DSS members on employment to another state with six. Then the best struggle is not. You are persons in core administration today who do not, they are, they are written and spoken in English and apology. Those who are better than they are in the executive cadre because they know no person. You don't need restructuring for this. If restructuring makes bringing to the poor of this country what we make them exert in life is acceptable to me. But if restructuring means the establishment of new states who may not be able to feed themselves, if the structure needs the aspect of the legality and all the rest of it, then I dissociate. The structure is a total distraction. I feel we need to have a, a generational shift of the way we think and see public offices and how we react to them. There were good messages from the Edo State Commissioner for Youth and Special Duties, Mika Amanohai, and other guests. Nigeria stopped moving very fast the moment the youth were relegated. 
a major part of the agenda should center around those who should enjoy restructuring or no restructuring. Not those that, even if they will be part of it, part of the future, they'll probably be monitoring it through the screen or reading it through the newspaper. The only way that Nigeria can be restructured and overcome all these challenges that is facing this nation is that we must give ourselves to God. Earlier, the general manager, Independent Radio, Pastor Dan Omozusi, said the theme of the lecture was apt in view of the agitation from some parts of the country. It is indeed our collective duty to ensure that the dignity of Nigeria, which is anchored in harmonious coexistence of the various ethnic groups, is not circumvented and sacrificed but what held without fear of people. The 2017 ITV and Radio Pre-Dependence Lecture also featured question and answer segments. Best Mbire reporting.